Greetings and welcome back to Subnautica, Below Zero. And today, we are going to get the pieces that we need to build the laser cutter. And where are we going? Well, Alan has shown us the way. This is the first artifact that he pointed out to us, the uh, X3J. And uh, we were going to go for that one. The problem is I didn't have the rebreather at that time, and it was under 100 meters. And I figured, let's come back to that. Of course, in the last episode, we got the other artifact that he pointed out to us, and that led us to... The Prawn Suit! And you might notice, he has a new arm. So let's just Welcome pop in here for a captain. moment. And... Zzz, zzz. So those little crabs, well, I'm gonna do... Zzz to their face. Because I have to go back there. Now what I would really like for this... I'd like the hook, because that way I can do the Spider-Man thing. As it is, I'm just going to have to jump. Fortunately, prawn suits can jump, especially if it has the little add-on that it gave to us. Also, in the meantime, I made a water filtration system. Of course, I've been stuffing this with fish, though, to keep the power going. Um, okay, I got some salt, and of course, I got a nice, large, filtered water. See the plus 50? Very nice indeed. So we're just going to let that thing go over time. I don't need the salt with me, so I'm going to drop that off. Where did that go? Here it is. I have enough food, so not a big deal. All right, as I mentioned, we're going to go back there, and we're going to locate the pieces we need. Now, I actually did scan one of the pieces of the laser cutter when we first went there, and I realized, okay, so I'm going to have to come back for this. Now, there are other locations where you can get pieces of the laser cutter. For instance, I happen to know that there's two in the first wreck. The problem with that is, even if you had the other one, when you scan those two, you'd have to come back here to build it and then go back, unless, of course, you brought the fabricator and everything you need with you. It seems more convenient to go over there with the laser cutter. I mean, we have to go there anyway, so let's go. Okay, and actually, the fabricator is currently attached. I needed that to build the arm. So, we'll just take it with us. Actually, no, we can't take it with us, because I'm going to be going through caves. All right, so we're going to lose it. All right, in the future, there will definitely be times I want to take it with me, especially if we're going for resources. But uh, for now, we're going to leave it behind. Oh, and I seem to need a little bit of water. All right, food shouldn't be a problem here. All right, so let's just get in. And let's head over to there. Now, like I said, if Alan has pointed this out to you already, then there's no problem. That's assuming, of course, you have Alan in your head already, which uh, is a really good idea. I kind of did a, a video on that earlier in the series. It's important to do that because you're going to get his commentary on things and things might just open up because he's there. And let me tell you something else that I learned. It seems that the sea monkeys treat you differently if you have Alan in your head. Observe. Hello. Okay, he's giving me a creep vine sample. Wasn't that nice of him? Yeah, they give you things, by the way. If uh, Alan is in your head, they will give you things. So uh, I'm wondering whether or not the developers didn't like the fact that we were killing them. I can't help but think that that might have been the reason they did that, you know? Because I know I was ramming them at every opportunity because I didn't want them stealing my stuff. All right, uh, there it is right there. All right. Now, there is another marker that you can use for this. It's just, obviously, if there's a marker like that, where, where is it now? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Um, I think it's over here. After all, it would have to be with caves, right? But there is something else that will help point the way here. You know, you want the light on, but unfortunately, the light is a little strong. I'm trying to find that location. Okay, it's that way. Oh, it was a fish. It's okay. 
All right, and it should be over this way. Oh, that's it. That's right there. That's what I was looking for, the platform. All right, we found this platform before, and there's a cave entrance right down here. Unfortunately, I can't fit this thing through there, so that's kind of the reason that we need to make sure we have lots of air. All right, so let's go. All right, heading down. Okay, and turn that off, at least for now. Okay, so there are some oxygen nodes down here, but it is very easy to get lost. All right, also, you always want to scan these. Did I scan this one already? I think this is where I got the laser cutter part. And there's an egg in there for sea monkeys if you want to do that. Uh, at the moment, I don't really have that facility. Maybe I'll come back. Oh, oxygen, very good. All right, so let's continue to go down and look around here. Um, I, that could be gold, so it is not gold, but that's okay. All right, I see another oxygen plant. Let's see, gold. Yes, it is. Gold. Hold on. Yes, it is. All right, where is this? Oh, I see another. Um, hi, how you doing? You got anything for me? Okay, you're giving me something, are you? Oh, titanium. That was very nice of you. Thank you very much. All right, is there something here? Uh, I can, can I scan this? Was this the one that I scanned before? I'm confused. All right. Let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Um, no real oxygen problems yet. The rebreather definitely makes things easier. Oh, there we go. This, okay, see, there is a uh, laser cutter part right there. Okay, that's two. I already have one, but we'll look for as many as we can find, right? I got the first one down here, so it's not like it's it was in some other location, right? Can I get some of this? Okay, that's titanium. All right, we're also looking for the artifact. Oh, is this another one? Oh, oh, is that the propulsion gun? Because I, I think I got the other part here the last time. Oh, propulsion cannon, excellent, because that is going to be very useful. All right, so that's two things you can actually get down here. All right, looking around. All right, that's just quartz. Plenty of location. Okay, you want to give me something? You got something for me? Hmm? Oh, you have some quartz. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Wow. Yes, they're much more polite. Let me just get some of this. And then we have to find that artifact. Okay, it's that way. So let's head that way. And I think this was the one we just searched, right? Yeah, it is. All right, hold it a minute. Yeah, this place is kind of a maze. Which is the reason the extra oxygen tank is just really a good idea to have in a situation like this. You know what I mean? Okay, um, which way was it? Whenever you're on top of it, it gets a little confusing. All right, I see another of these. I also see possible gold. Uh, titanium. Oh, is my inventory full? No. Okay, you know what? It's titanium. I don't really need it. Okay, what do we have here? We have another laser cutter part. Okay, so that's me done. I got all of my parts down here, and of course there's an egg. When that time comes, I will definitely get some. All right, but we still have to find the artifact, which I think is right here. There we go. It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. Okay, and I didn't respond. Okay, so that's what he... I got something called a quantum locker there? Okay, all right. So let's uh, get out of here because this place is a little bit scary. Uh, I really could use some lead. I'm a little low on lead, 
Got plenty of silver, plenty of gold. Uh, I don't suppose that uh, you have anything for me? Hmm. Oh, some quartz. Okay, I'll take it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen, oxygen remaining. Oxygen, oxygen. Oh, right there. All right. So let's continue to one, look around, and two, get out of here. Because like I said, this place is kind of a maze. Gold, yeah, lots of gold, lots of gold. And that could be, that's silver. I'd really like to find, um, like I said, lead. I am running a little bit low on lead, so I may just look at these. Okay, that was silver again. Once upon a time, I didn't want silver. I did want silver, I should say. Now, I'd much rather have lead. All right. So the nests are very, very important. There's also a couple of locations where there's like a, um, a laser cutter lying on the ground. But the thing is, if you just do the nests, you'll get what you need. Speaking of getting what I need, I need some oxygen. Oh, 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 guess what? Another laser cutter. Do I have space? All right, I'll, I will take it in order to um, have more titanium. All right, so that's actually four. You only need three, and that's some kelp root. Uh, I should probably start thinking about really getting out of here. All right, I need to start going up. Keeping my eyes open for... Oh, oh, guess what I found? I found the way out of here. All right, now, where is... Oh, that's one of those guys, isn't it? Explodey guy. All right, it was explodey guy. All right, where is my vehicle? All right. Yeah, those tunnels down there, they go, uh, they go a bit. A lot of, a lot of um, distance in all directions. And a big part of finding things in this game is going to be scanning the, um, the sea monkey nests. Um, in the area underneath the, uh, the purple vents, there's a lot of things down. What are you going to do? Take a bite out of Plasteel? All right, so let's just head back. All right, so now I have what I need to make the, um, the laser cutter. Of course, one of the things you're going to need is diamonds. But then again, we covered that in a previous video, didn't we? During Diamond Hunt. Actually, there was a little cave next to the prawn bay that I found afterwards that actually had a bunch of diamonds in there. I didn't really touch them, just in case we go back there sometime and I can show them to you. I think there was about seven or eight of them, just packed into a little tight area there. All right, so let's do this. I should have most of what I need. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's see, that would be tools, there we go. I need two diamonds, a battery, titanium, and okay, so all those things are not a problem. I got these from the island, the sulfur, and of course, I believe I need two of these, and you can see I used four for the drill arm on the prawn suit. So that's how many diamonds that I had. Diamonds are absolutely not a problem. Yeah, like I said though, lead, I'd really feel better if I had more than four, you know? Because one thing is you need to do lead for, I believe the, uh, the glass, the enamel glass, hold on a minute. No, not that one. Right, you need lead for enamel glass, which could be a bit of a problem there. All right, so let's make the laser cutter. All right, and we're just going to put it in her hand and let her look at it because we'll get the animation out of the way. Okay, did you just burn a hole in your own base? Don't do that. Don't do that, really. Just don't. All right, and how are we doing over here? Looks like we got some more water. Okay, we got some, uh, yeah, I can start curing a lot now with that. And of course, another large filtered. 
How are you doing? Okay, I mean, it's got enough fish for now. It is using it up quickly, though. See, the uh, energy can be consumed faster than it can be produced. If you're, you're just using this one. Uh, let's just, oh, you know what? I could use some, I could always use extra water. Always. You, though. Actually, I'm going to eat him. But having one of these things is very useful. Just grab the fish that you don't want, the ones you're not going to eat, anything other than a peeper and the, uh, what do they call it, the bag fish? The bladder fish. Basically, anything else around this area, you can just throw it in there for fuel, you know? Because if it's taking up one of those little tendrils, one of those electric tendrils, it won't actually pick up the fish that you want, right? So anything else, just throw it right in there. But at the moment, I want cheap water. And then I'll also just do this. I'm not going to cure it. I'm just going to eat it because I'm hungry. Of course, I have the nuts up above, which are great. Um, that one, that one. Yeah, we'll just pop upstairs for a moment. Yeah, these right here. These are just, these are great. Here, a second. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh, I can't hold them because I got so much. Why do I have that? Oh, that's right. He gave it to me. And no, I'm not going to eat it. No, I can't drop it here. I'll have to drop it outside. Yeah, because these things are really very good. Let me just, uh, oh, back down. All right, uh, silver and gold. Got a lot of both of them. Uh, quartz. I even went ahead and made an enamel glass because, you know, I know I'm going to need them in the future, so why not, right? All right, back up here. I don't think that these things go bad, uh, but you can see they also heal you too, so they're very useful to have. Very useful. Even if you keep them in storage when you go on a trip, maybe in the, the storage module, which I still have to make. But I do need another module a little bit more at the moment. What I would like would be the docking module so that I can carry this thing around with me. See, the thing about it is, yes, it can jump, but until it gets the, uh, the hook, it's a little hard to traverse areas like this. It can be a little bit of a problem there, especially if you're looking for a ledge to jump onto, you know? If I could get the, uh, the hook, then that would be a little bit better. So in the meantime, if I can get the docking module, the uh, sea truck can basically take it wherever I need it to be. So that would work out a lot better. And I can easily get it out of a situation like that as well. All right, so we have the laser cutter, which means we can go wreck searching now and we can cut holes in things so we can get to those sections that are not so easy to get to. Like I said, you can get two pieces of the laser cutter in the first wreck. It's in about 90 meters deep, so it's not really of a problem, even if you haven't upgraded your sea truck. It's a good idea to have the sea truck for there, by the way, because the trip can be a little bit on the dangerous side. But if you have the sea truck, well, it's a killing machine, so no problem at that point. But of course, always carry your repair tool with you because you don't want it to break while you're far away from your base. But like I said, now we have this, we can start going into Rex and we can start doing stuff. I like to keep an eye open for modules as well. Like I said, the docking module would be very useful. And I have an idea of where I might find that. Another thing that I need is... Da -da -da, advanced. I need synthetic fibers, which means I need to find spiral plant clipping. I have an idea where spiral plants are and they might be in the area that we're going to next because we're going to go wreck hunting. We might uh, make a longish episode and take care of both of the small wrecks at one time since we do have everything we need. And I'm going to bring the fabricator module with me because I might need the extra storage. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.